Hi guys, welcome to our talk show again. Today we're very happy to have a very good friend back on our show, Isabel Wery. Hi. Hi, Isabel. Hi, Alan. Welcome back to our show. Welcome back to China. Thank you. Thanks a lot. So How are you? I'm really fine. I'm so happy to be here with you again. Yeah, what, what brings you here this time? Ha, this time, um, one of my dreams was to, to come here to Beijing to, to write, to write on a new novel. Oh. So I'm I'm really happy to 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 make to make that that wish true. Good, because we remember last time you mentioned about uh, well, you talked about your your ins how you got inspirations for your for your books, and also you mentioned about a book that you were working on yes. at that time. It's called Pony, right? Yes. I think most of the audience may want want to know what happened to Pony. Pony, <laughs> Pony is born. <laughs> Pony yes. is born. Oh, where is we it? We got it now. It's a ah, here it is. <laughs> yes, it's now it's published in in Belgium, and uh, one of my dream would be that it would be translated in Chinese. Maybe. Mm -hmm. We're, wow. we're working on it. So it's born and uh, it took me five, five years of work. Wow, that's yes. a lot of work, so right? It's, mm. it's quite, it's quite a, a lot of work. Yes. Yeah. And you are here this time to write a, a new book? Yes, ah. yes, working on a new novel, a mm. novel based in, uh, in Spain and in China. So oh, yeah. so it's a, what's, what's, the what's the story behind it? Uh, the story is uh, the story of a very old woman. She has 1,000 years. And oh, okay. <laughs> 1,000 <laughs> years yes, old woman. Yeah. A woman. And she is invited in the south of Spain to spend a few, ho 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 few days of holidays. Mm -hmm. And so many things happen. It's it, in, the, in this hotel, held by a dog and a cat. Mm. Uh, and uh, one day she decided to climb the, the mountain. In climb the mountain? Climb the mm. And, and uh, she discovered that uh, there's uh, China is just uh, up the mountain. So she enters oh, in Spain. on Spa top of the mountain? Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> so, this, so she enters in China and, she, and many things happen in, in, that, in that part uh, of China. I see. I, I guess that's also one of the reasons you came back to China to seek more inspirations. Yes, for the book, right? Yes, that's ah. right. Yeah, that's true. And to um, to feel the country, to meet people, mm -hmm. to experience new new things. And also, we're quite impressed by you know you, you you kept doing what you like, right? One book after another. Yes. And we're wondering how what, what, what keeps you keep continue to have the passion for writing. How writing and, and acting too are, are all, all all my life. Uh, because I, I still work in theatre, so I make mm -hmm. both. I, yeah, I yeah. go from writing to, to, to acting and making theatre. Writing is my skin, it's my... <laughs> <laughs> it's already really what, what I, I really like to do, and mm -hmm. it's um, a way of communication with people. It's telling about the world, the, about my life and about my, my feelings, mm -hmm, how mm -hmm. I approach the world. So it's part of you, you just cannot, you cannot get rid of it. No. And it's, it's, it's something you, you, you're born with, right? Yes. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's, true. That, that's wonderful feeling. Because as for me, I, I maybe in, in the past, I used to have some passion for something. After a while, after I really had fun, the passion may be gone. Really? Yeah, cause that's because it's not meant to be part of my body. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I was born in writing, actually. Very young, I began to write and, mm -hmm. and make theatre too. Oh, uh, cause so they, they kind of happened at the same time. And yeah. I think last time we, we, we talked about, you, you mentioned, you do discover that uh, very early when you were young, right? Yes, you were, yeah. yes, very early. I, I felt into poetry. Mm. And I found the power of words, of of uh, you know poetry. Writing is about a uh, kind of painting. It it gives to the reader mm -hmm. uh, images. You give to the yeah. reader images. Yes, and so yes. I really received images from poetry, and it was so powerful that I that I I felt in it and felt felt in love with it. <laughs> nice. And you once you fell in love, you you in it. Yeah. <laughs> You, you, can't, <laughs> you can't get you, of it. You, you indulge it, right? Yeah. Very good. And, and uh, as you also mentioned, it's about poetry and to give images. Um, I think many, many of you may also want to, you know, uh, become writers, to write things, to write beautiful things. Are there any, any uh, tips or advice you can give to them how to, you know, write good poetry? 
Um, I think many people, the, the main problem is that people are afraid to write and mm. they, they think they, they think that the, they don't have the ability, mm -hmm. so they are afraid of yeah. them. Um, for so example, I may be afraid of maybe my vocabulary is not big enough, I haven't read enough, then yeah, that keeps me course. from, from yeah. doing what I really want to write. Right? But you have a relation to yeah. language, so you can write. And um, it's, it's a, a skill that you have to practice uh, every day and uh, to, go t to go through it every day. Because oh. it's, like it's like a sport. You, you, oh. you, get, you, you need to train your mind, your imagination, your, your inspiration. And so um, uh, the second thing for me which is important, it's to find where you can write really easily. For instance, I've, cho I've chosen that marvelous place in the Jitan Park, yeah. uh, in the, at the Temple of the Sun, and the <laughs> sun is here today. Mm -hmm. uh, it's um, uh, a coffee shop uh, called the Stone Boats, mm -hmm. and it's a marvelous place. I really feel comfortable. Many people are, are going through, so I, there's a little energy. It's and the energy and at the same time it's really quiet so I really feel inspired here there's water, green mm -hmm. and um, it's really important if you want to write to find a good place mm -hmm. uh, where, where you can have a good inspiration mm -hmm. writing is about getting in trance you see what I mean? it's get in, in, tr uh, in, in trance it's like a dance you have to, oh, I see. to your body and your mind uh, have to be in, in movement and, and get a kind of energy of like when you dance you you get a, a ah, rhythm in you once so you find that, that that kind of rhythm right yes yeah, yeah. kind of rhythm keep, so keep dancing in your mind yes like the, like the dance with the with the with, with the pen on the paper yeah <laughs> <laughs> or on your computer <laughs> on your computer yeah yeah but uh, you you have to be really in movement in your in your mind I to, to write mm -hmm. so so you really have as a writer to find what are your tools what are your what gives you energy to write i see to so find the tools to have the uh, to have the energy to keep on uh, writing what you want right the yes. first one is the persistence right you have to keep doing this every day yes second one is the like the environment you have to find a good place yes. right uh, where they can give you inspiration for example right now we're here in the Park. Yeah. Right? Uh, it's, a, it's a one beautiful place for you right yeah. it gives yeah. you inspiration third one is your body and mind shall be in movement right keep yeah. on moving yes are those like the three tools you need to have uh, um, i have others other tools as for well. instance uh, when you're, you're writing, uh, it's to find the poetry in what you are writing. To find, you know, some words are so used that they are, they are, they get poor. Oh, you know, it's yeah. like uh, they, they don't have power on the reader. So you have to choose really, really, um, really particular words oh. to create some images to the writer. I see, don't and use cliches, right? Yeah, well, yes. that's true. Yeah. Go, go out of the cliché and, and, and that's really a job I'm re really working in my books. I'm really mm -hmm. working on go out the cliché mm -hmm. in the language. Yeah. Can you and give us maybe some one or two specific examples? What was uh, cliches and what was... For instance, um, not yeah, maybe if you say Wow, that woman is beautiful as the sun. Okay, mm. that's a good image, but we already heard that it many times. Many right. times. So yeah. try to you, you can, for instance, write that woman is beautiful as a, um, a moon who has swallowed the sun. You see, oh. you see, you create a little little decalage, trick I don't there, know, right? trick, a little <laughs> trick, trick there, yeah. to, to create something new yeah. and work as Newer a Newer and a more beautiful image there, yes, right? Yes, mm. that's really, um, um, it's, uh, in that way you will find really uh, your, your own style, your, writing st your own writing style. It mm -hmm. will give you a... Uh, yeah. It shows your identity, right? Yes, I'm an identity. Uh, yeah, I'm 
usually describing something differently with my own style, yes. uh, not the usual way you you, yes. you you read things or other or what other people often describe things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh. But what was because for me, what's interesting in in in, s in the writing of some authors, it's that they give you new images of the world. So it's you're always uh, surprised by by the um, what they describe. Mm -hmm. And you have very, very good authors in China too. Oh, yeah. and authors you're particularly fond of in China? Uh, I'm. I really like the writing of Shen Keyi. How do you say it in? Shen Keyi. Shen Keyi. My eye. Your is good. I, I, I understand you perfectly well. <laughs> no, I'm doing my best to learn a little bit of Chinese this time, but it's really hard. But mm -hmm. um, Shen Keyi. Mm -hmm. yes, she she she's a good writer, and she 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 mm, she has really good topics, and she also uses images oh. uh, very in 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 his in her style. It's really mm, a poetry very well worked. Mm -hmm. very, mm, yeah. So you your 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 styles are kind of similar, or you found certain reflection of you in in her work as well. Uh, we we have different style, but but we y there's a connection. Yes. There's a connection. Yeah, yes, to um, use to, to give very good, vivid and imaginary uh, images yes. to, to the readers. Right. She she's also very fond of nature. She ah. works on the body, women body. Ah. Uh, she comes from the countryside, so like like me. <laughs> 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 yes, so we, we have many, many points in ba common. Many things in common. Many oh. things in common, yeah. Good. That's about the book and uh, your other things about theatre, right? Yes. Theatre shows. Any, any news in that field? Um, I'm working... When I will go back to Brussels, I'm, I will make... Um, I like to mix theatre and literary. Mm. So I like to put some literary texts on the stage. And when I will be back in in uh, in Belgium, we will work on a reading, reading and theater on a Belgian writer who is really in touch with China, and his uh -huh. book is is uh, titled "Made in China." <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and it's published here actually. And uh, okay, I will have really the, pl the pleasure yeah. to make that when I go back to Belgium. Uh, uh, it's called Made in China. Do you know the reason why it's called Made in China? Yes, because he, he's telling the story uh, of one of his journey. He came to China to, m to make a movie and oh. so he explains all the, the journey of, of, of the making of the, the movie. Oh, thank you so much for being on the show again. And no, we are, it's me. Well, we are really looking forward to receiving and reading more uh, works from you. Thanks a lot. Yeah, a, a real pleasure. Yeah. A pleasure. Yeah, see you guys next time.